my name's Romy. That little there is Castor. I'm actually bringing her into shop today. Casty. This is Castor with her new toy she got on the weekend. Doesn't like to be parted from it. It still even smells new. She's just come in from a play. Good girl. And today it is Halloween. A very spooky, festive time of the year. And a time of the year I greatly enjoy. And today I felt inspired. I felt optimistic. And I decided I would try and carve for the second time in my life. Not a pumpkin, but a potato. This potato is dirty. It's very soily smelling. I don't know what type it is. Um, it's got purple little eyes on the top, so I don't know what that means. And it's actually green. I was going to eat this afterwards. Maybe. But it's green, so I'm not going to. So what you need is an idea in your head of what you're going to do, which I probably should have. A potato. One bigger than this would be good that you could maybe fit a candle in, but we'll see how this goes. And get carving. Now, I am by no means a champion Halloween carver, pumpkin potato carver, but I enjoy it. And that for me is the important part. Um, I often have very grandiose ideas of, I'm going to break this knife, of glorious things I'm going to carve. Um, and that's good. Nice room, that's good. Um, potatoes, I have found, are a lot harder to carve than pumpkins because... I mean, they're harder to scrape out at least. And they're smaller, so it's like you're working with a miniature pumpkin that's actually not a pumpkin, it's a potato. Hollowed out and dripping everywhere. all my pumpkins and clean up the little bits all over this and then I'll be back to show you the finished product. It's a cute little ghoulish pumpkin. It's not a pumpkin, it's a potato. Um, and then it's got some little holes in the back just to let some more light through, which I thought, it kind of looks like a face, but it wasn't that, in, it, that wasn't intentional. This is the face. 
I don't know if a tea light candle is going to fit, but I'm going to try. And there you have it. You not only now have a cute little friend to sit on your shoulder and smell like a potato, you have a, basically a pocket-sized lantern, which is pretty fantastic. Um, and it's also a great way of using green potatoes because you can't eat those because they are poisonous, I believe. I think this is very cute. And if it inspires you to make your own little pumpkin friend that's a potato, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting you're not a potato. You are a potato, you're not a pumpkin. I'm very confused. Then go ahead and carve your little pumpkin, potato, strawberry, avocado, whatever, and have a very, very happy Halloween.